Hey, how's it going? I'm Casey Ford Alexander. I'm a member of the class of 2010, and I'm in Theater 317, theatrical design with a focus on set design. Well, we had two, two projects this year, and it was uh, clear even from the first class that this really wasn't a, a class about set design, quote unquote. It was more about uh, production design and imagining an entire aesthetic, as a look and a feel that was informed by the text. The first project we worked on was Oedipus, and I designed um, for a specific space, the Delacorte Theatre in Central Park. Um, and I was thinking a lot about textures and, and landscapes that were informed by the, the uh, totally lifeless, um, dead and, and post-apocalyptic setting that was Thebes. I think it's interesting to set this in his world because then you get to see Nina break out of it and say, you know, so she's the kind of like rock chick rebel I saw her as. I think she goes from being this kind of you know, really all out colorful, you know, teenage, teenage rebel, I think, um, uh, into sort of, I mean, she grows up, she becomes a woman. And I think the, the visual process of that is seeing her become a lot more um, uh, sort of monochromatic, but also a lot more sort of like sexual as opposed to sort of childish. It's a real world that he'd never envisaged. And I think that's where a lot of the, I mean, so, so sorry, there are, there are things which happen with chalk markings throughout the play. Um, but I think the most significant moment is, you know, is at the end when, when Nina really comes in and literally sort of like erases some things of her speech that, that he'd written for her to say. In my production of The Seagull, actors are immersed in a white world reminiscent of a rehearsal room or a soundstage. During Acts 1 and 2, Constantin projects images onto a white brick wall to create facsimiles of the locales in the play. The brick wall is removed for Acts 3 and 4. Then the projected surround becomes the world of the play. Um, overall, it was, it was a fantastic class. We talked so much more about art and um, what it means to tell a story on stage and how to put that in visuals than we did about just simply, you know, building sets, building, you know, specific pieces for, for the stage. So it was, it was a class about exploring art, what it, what it means to tell a story through theater, what it means to make use of uh, sort of the, 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 the pinnacle of, crea of human creativity that is theater. Um, the collaborative art form. So it was a fantastic class, and I enjoyed, you know, my time with, with Ricardo and with uh, you know all the classmates. Just brought uh, such cool energy and, and cool ideas to the class. So it was, it was a really great experience.